temperatures have really made for some beautiful scenery out there, Lainey. Oh, yeah. Changing, the color is starting to come down from the mountains. Won't be too long before we'll have full color across the Piedmont Triad as well. Definitely have some cool air. I take a look at some of these photos. We were up last week with the fall color guy there on the Rough Ridge Trail. And we're actually going to have a story coming up later on this week about that. And we'll show you some of the color there along the Lynn Cove Viaduct. You know, it was a gorgeous afternoon in the Triad. We got up to 70 degrees today. Our normal high is in the upper 60s. So, yeah, it's pretty mild. We have 60 six right now in Greensboro and Winston-Salem as well as Lexington 67 in Burlington. It is a little cooler as you head toward the mountains. 53 at Meadows of Dan 48 right now in Sparta. Now tomorrow morning our mountain temperatures will get down close to freezing. So we do have a frost advisory that is in effect for the mountains overnight. Temperatures just above freezing for several hours. Scattered frost is likely that frost could kill sensitive vegetation if it is left unprotected and the frost advisory can communities from Boone to Jefferson, Sparta up toward Galax, Mount Airy, Wilkesboro. There could still be some patchy frost, but not really under a frost advisory. We're not anticipating widespread frost. Both Monday and Tuesday mornings, the temperatures are going to be below normal in the triad as well as the foothills down into the mid to upper 30s. So patchy frost is a possibility in a few spots as we'll see numbers like this. Around 37 in Greensboro, 36 in Burlington, 35 in Mount Airy. Of course, those morning temperatures will stay chilly again Tuesday morning like we talked about, but then they will start to come back up more in line with what is normal, which is about 47 this time of year. Winds will come down tonight as well. They've been up today out of the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, but with the calm winds, you're going to deal with some of the frost concerns in our mountains north and west. Not a lot of cloud cover either, so with the clear skies and calm winds, pretty ideal situation for frost to set up. Our hour of our forecast. We'll show you the temps tomorrow morning in the 30s. And then as we go through tomorrow, it's a sunny day. High temperatures will respond nicely. They'll get into the upper 60s by tomorrow afternoon. Probably not quite as warm as today because we're going to be a little colder in the morning. So we're forecasting a high of 67 for late tomorrow with light and variable winds. Lots of sunshine for your Monday in the foothills as well. Mid 60s by late afternoon. And in the mountains, we'll get you up to about 61 by tomorrow afternoon. Of course, we've got the frosty conditions in the morning. Notice how much warmer it is out here to the west. 83 in Dallas, 71 in Kansas City. That big ridge of warmth is actually going to build into our area as we go through this week. So we're looking at temperatures that are going to be much warmer and definitely above normal, running mid, maybe even upper 70s, starting on Wednesday and then continuing in that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, even going to stay warm. We've got a forecast high pretty close to 80 degrees by Saturday in the Piedmont. Triad. So the morning lows do come up. The afternoon highs come up as well. We've got a few patchy clouds in the forecast for the foothills for the latter half of the week. Also into the upper 70s and warmer than normal temperatures expected in the mountains as well with low 70s. Let's get you up to date on the tropics. Hurricane Tammy out there. Category one storm expected to stay out over the Atlantic over the next several days. There's also another area here that we're watching. This will likely move into Nicaragua, but could potentially become a tropical depression by early week. Here's your seven day forecast. There are the highs. They are about 10 degrees above normal by the end of this week.